Hi guys, welcome back to Have It or Leave It. I'm Brittany. Well, it is February and I have a birthday coming up. And of course, that's made me think about getting older. And not in the good way, like when you're 10 and you're like, oh, I can't wait to be 13. Or when you're 18 and you're like, 21, here I come, woo! No, <laughs> not like that. So anyway, I'm thinking these thoughts and I get this email in my inbox and it says, five stretches to make you look 10 years younger. Okay. I mean, after all the squats we've been doing, stretching would feel pretty great. And who wouldn't want to, live, to look 10 years younger? So the email is from Dr. Kareem F. Semhori, and he's a doctor of physical therapy and kinesiology. The premise behind his article is that these five stretches will improve your posture, eliminate some joint pain, and redistribute fat folds, giving you an overall youthful appearance. So, sounds great. If you want to check out his article, I've included a link in the description of this video. I'll warn you though, uh, it looks like these five exercises are part of a box set that he's trying to sell. I don't have the box set and I'm not affiliated with Dr. Semhori in any way. I just want to try these stretches out. So, with that being said, let me show you the five stretches. The first two stretches are for our pectoralis, or chest muscles, and will help counter the hunched shoulder position we often find ourselves in. For stretch number one, place your elbows and hands in front of you, such that your elbows and hands are touching in a prayer-like position, but with your elbows at chest height and hands at forehead height. From this position, move your arms out to the side by slowly squeezing your shoulder blades together until your chest is wide open and you feel a stretch along the entire front of your chest and abdomen. Return slowly to the starting position and repeat for 50 seconds. For stretch number two, begin with your elbows straight and arms crossed in front of you, such that you're squeezing your pecs together and rounding your shoulders forward. From this position, extend your arms upward and outward while depressing your shoulders and retracting your chin into a double chin position. You will be in a Y-like position at the top. Return slowly to the starting position and repeat again for 50 seconds. Stretch number three helps alleviate the tightening of the muscles around the shoulder caused by slouching. Lie on your back and place the tennis ball just behind your shoulder, about two inches from the outermost point of your arm. From here, place your arm into the beginner or external rotation position and gently rock side to side. Gradually increase the amount of weight you're placing through the tennis ball. By progressing how much pressure you use, you'll release fascia. Continue to rock for 25 seconds and then switch to the other side and rock for 25 seconds on that side. Once you're comfortable with the beginner position, move your arm to the advanced position or internal rotation and perform the same movement. Stretch four, the thoracic extension, is meant to improve our mid-back mobility. Start with your elbows at your sides, hands up, chest big, and shoulders back. From here, slowly raise your arms into the air while keeping your shoulders down and preventing them from hiking up. Also, be sure to keep your core tight. After reaching the top, return to the starting position and repeat. Do this for 50 seconds. Stretch number five is meant to release fascia in your inner thigh, thereby relieving pain from hip to knee. In the Z-sit position, roll the ball about two inches up from your knee until you find the soft spot in your leg. From there, press down and perform gentle revolutions of the tennis ball until you find the sensitive area. Focus on increasing pressure slowly but surely as you progress through this exercise. Repeat for 25 seconds on the right leg and then switch to 25 seconds on the left leg. So those were the stretches. Nothing too crazy, I think we can all do them. But like I always say, when you're starting something new, please check with your doctor. So to summarize our week four Have It or Leave It Challenge, we are going to try to do the five stretches to make us look 10 years younger every day for a week. At the end of the week, we'll see if our posture has improved, if we feel a little less joint pain, and anything else, and we'll determine Have It or Leave It. If you're in, 
type stretch me young in the comments. I gotta tell you, I'm really looking forward to this one. I think the stretching is gonna feel great. So I hope you join me. Bye.